Edison Noga graduated with a bachelor's degree in mass communication. The winds of fate, however, blow him to Katwe, a Kampala slum, where he ekes a living as a bicycle mechanic. He's a caretaker at this shop. I work as a management. I manage the job up here. Na leinga ofu ba na vali wa bakadi. Na tika wa baba bakola chi. Katyo kudamo kusaba fa bakadi ba tuzem chatu vile la chizivu. The retrenchment opened his mind up to the realities of unemployment in the country. He then knew he had to get a menial job after several futile attempts at finding another job in the same industry. Kwa singo bunge na kuzimu. Be kwa sisi zani government. The government is yetu yangu yetu polisi. Unlike Eddie, this man is neither educated nor employed. Like many of the youth in the slums of Kampala, he only works when opportunity strikes. Every year, 400,000 graduates are released into a job market that only has a 90,000 job capacity. Eddie and Samanda are a representative of 22.5% youth of the country's population. They face a lot of challenges, key among which is unemployment. And whereas money has been allocated by the government through initiatives like the Youth Fund, the two gentlemen say more must be done. I don't know how much money is going to be able to do this project. But I don't know how much money is going to be able to do this. It's because of Eddie, Samanda and many of their colleagues in the same age bracket that government is seeking a new approach to address youth unemployment. We are going to announce the year 2017 as the year of the young people in Uganda. To achieve this, natural change, the State Minister for Youth says an expo has been organized where different youth will be allowed to showcase their expertise as a build-up to 2017. We are here to crown it all in December, come the 12th to 16th of the month, with a big do that we have called the Uganda Youth Explosion, because we need them now to bust out, to tell the story of where we, we are coming from and where we are going. We're in the process of setting up a secretariat at the ministry. The secretariat will be basically the hub that receives all the different talents, skills and youth countrywide. Remember, this is a nationwide engagement. Enable the private sector to share valuable job opportunities because we are showcasing the unemployed youth as well. They will be there telling you we are poor, we are unemployed. So they will have also their area where they will talk about everything. Initiatives that have been in place before, like the 2011-2012 Youth Capital Venture Fund, an enterprise development fund worth 25 billion shillings, and the Youth Livelihood Program, targeting the poor and unemployed youth in all districts worth 265 billion shillings, advanced to youth interest groups in form of a revolving fund, were both misunderstood and mismanaged by the beneficiaries. Shirand Huchere, NTV.